back to mowing hay again. Got my headland done earlier, and I'm all these little pockets out between these trees, made about a million turns. So I got this section squared off. Gonna finish it. Dad's out here now, so this little section will go pretty quick. And we'll move on to the rest. There's about 60 acres out here, so I'm gonna get this section mowed, then I'm gonna go eat a sandwich. Talk to you guys later. Well, I got my lunch in. We got a few more trees to mow around, like any got trees and little necks. So squaring it off to where we don't have to make so many turns. I get through with this little section. I'll shoot another video. You can see a lot of the light from on top of this hill. You can actually see. Uh, so there's the lake. And you can see the hard towel, but you can see the red roofs. That's the cabins over at Arrowhead. I think when I make this turn, you can see a little better. loader off this tractor because I wasn't using it and it sure makes it a lot better to see. Your mowing didn't take as long, David. Gotta correct myself. This total 75 acres here, not all of it's able to cut. Earlier I said 60, but there's probably more than that to cut. I do about five acres in an hour, Dave. Maybe it's on the next field over you can see better. On the field next to it, you get a better view of the lake. That's a different customer. Yeah, Arrowhead's right on the other side of that tree line. This gentleman we're cutting for his old cowboy. He used to ride a horse all the way from the Canadian area all the way over here, over here to uh, McAnally Flats or whatever they want to call this over here. Yeah, I think it's the other field. I can see the old resort, which is now narking on. You can see it pretty good from it.
yeah. I need to put some tin on these windows because uh, this AC don't keep up too good. I think my case had a better air conditioner in it. Next tractor is either going to have a 12 speed in it or it's going to have a CVT. I could probably run five mile an hour, but there's not a gear for that in this tractor. It goes from four and a half up to five and a half. If I drop a gear, I drop all the way down to 3.1. So definitely the next purchase will have a better transmission in it. There's not an Oklahoma hayfield without a rock pile. So right there's a rock pile I just went around. Got some video over by the fence. It's like a mini rock wall from when they used to plow this with a team of horses. I guess they gathered up all their rocks and they put them along their fence line. You know, somebody done some major work to do that. He's got some good views. You can see a lot of the lake. Here's some Jeff Tones. Got me at next year on Turbo. So you got Bristol Point right over here. It's hard to see it in my camera. I got a good view though. I'll try to shoot video if I'm on that other field. If I'm not at work. Some rocks or something. So I gotta flip these blades. Which to get all this little grass caught up in them. Gotta get lined up on the hole. Change blades are convenient, but they get full of trash you gotta clean out. back mowing. It's all mowed. See what kind of moisture is in this stuff I cut first. Right. 
Okay, let's see if I need this. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Get a bell. Yeah, 21.9, a little on the green side. But it'll be ready to bail first thing in the morning. That's what sucks about Paragrass, it dries out fast. But we got it all cut. 